this video will show you how to access the 10K, also known as the annual report, for a publicly traded company. First, you're going to go to the web link um, URL, sec.report. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and open it. This is the SEC, which is the Securities and Exchange. So I'm going to open it and see where it goes you'll see it asks for either the ticker symbol um, or you can just type in the name of the company i'm going to go ahead and type in netflix and click on the lookup and you'll notice you get several options um, what i'm going to do is go down to the matching companies and i found that if you just go ahead and select the first one here again you can select any company you want it gives you an overview of the company I selected, which happens to be the um, Netflix, and you see a, a series of reports that are filed with the SEC, um, which is a government agency, and we're going to be looking for the annual report. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and you'll notice that the 10Q is a quarterly report, but we want the annual one, which is the 10K. So I'm going to click on that link, annual report, and it takes me into a format that allows various um, methods on social media or even just copying the link so I can send it or post it somewhere other than one of these options. You'll notice that there is a, um, a, a link to Excel financial reporting. You can download that. Just simply click on that and it should launch an Excel file and then put it in that format. And then if you click on about form 10K, it'll also give you some additional information regarding um, the 10k so i'm going to go back and what i want to do is i want to scroll down and i want to see the web version of the 10k so if i keep scrolling down i'll see that this is for netflix and i'm trying to find the most recent year so as of the time of this recording i believe january 2021 is the most recent and if you keep scrolling down you'll see there's hypertext links for the table of contents there's various items, and this is the standard format of um, any company that you're going to find um, on this website. Now I'm going to keep scrolling down until I get to section or part two, and you'll see that there's some items. Um, the items that I'm most concerned with are the financial statements. This, is, this relates to an accounting course, so item eight is what I'm looking for. There are some other sections of it, but let's go ahead and click on the link to item 8, which happens to be on page 32. Many of these reports are a substantial number of pages, like in the hundreds, so um, don't be alarmed. Um, the first thing I'd like to point out to you is there is a report of independent registered public accounting firms. Um, if you're watching this video at the beginning of the semester, you will hopefully know that there are four um, large um, major accounting firms that would do um, more than likely do most of these. And this is actually coming out of the San Jose office of Ernst & Young. So this is how you find the auditors um, who actually um, reviewed these financial statements um, under generally accepted, um, well, generally accepted auditing standards. And if you keep moving on, you're going to go ahead and see several different items. And then you get to the list of financial statements. So hopefully, um, if this is the beginning, you will learn how to read these financial statements and find various components. And if this is at the end, you should be able to do um, ratios and so forth of the course. So that's going to conclude this video. If there's any questions, um, please, please, please um, post in your respective Canvas or um, um, interaction sites. And one thing I did forget, there are notes to the financial statements, which are additional items that discloses information to the various users. So remember, today is a great day to learn accounting.